Nobody wants this refuge to close. Nobody wants just the drop-in centre or someone on the end of a phone line. We want the people there to be kept there, to be worked there and every family feels safe. This is just detrimental to the, to the women's refuge if this is closed for 13 weeks. We feel if it's closed for 13 weeks it may never open again. Yeah, and we can't allow this to happen. Because we as women must look after our women. You know, we have, if we don't look after one another, who do we look after? I'm here to support women who need places to go. This government is working all over the people and it's time a stop was put to them. No regards for people or for the way people feel. And I think it's time the people of Ireland stood up and said enough is enough. Today is very important for the march in general just to heighten the awareness throughout Wexford and throughout, throughout Ireland really of domestic violence. It's not a night to fight. It hasn't got preference whether you're black or white, rich or poor. You know, domestic violence is what it is. The refuge can't afford to be closed for one hour, so we're all out here to protest and keep the women's refuge open for women and children. I'm just amazed at the numbers of people have turned out. I'm standing here in front of you as a survivor. Yeah! Uh, thank you. And uh, over the past years the refuge have just been unfathomable to me in every way and in all the support that they give and we just cannot survive without it. We also received a message from Nell McCafferty yesterday so I'm sure you all know. She's obviously an Irish journalist and she's also a civil rights campaigner. And she said that in this time of austerity, the proposed closure of the Wexford Women's Refuge ranks as savagery. First a woman is beaten and terrorised, then a place of safety is denied her. When it comes to cutting families, are the government and the men of Wexford saying women and children first? Shame on them. There isn't an, a refuge that's near to us here where if this one closes, that people in Wexford can go to for safety and protection. So it must stay open, it has to stay open. Yeah. And I, I really firmly believe that the ministers, the people that, that can have the power, will support us in this, they have to.